you meet somebody new, eventually you come to that place where you ask that question. So, so what do you do? What's your gig? And I'm not a big fan of that, that question. Because guys, what I do is not a normal job. Or a lot, I draw with chalk for a living. <laughs> Here's what I've found in my 20 years of speaking to all types of people. It doesn't matter what occupation you have. It doesn't matter what you do. First and foremost, we're all people. When people get tired, when people get discouraged, when people get burned out, people get overwhelmed and overcome. And it's in those moments that we've got to be careful. What I've found in those moments is when we need to remember what this life, this journey, our business is about. Believe it or not, whatever occupation you have, it all boils down to the same thing. For you, for me, for everybody in this room. Do you want to know what it boils down to? Relationships. People helping people. And what does this represent? It represents those moments when we feel downhearted, when we feel discouraged, when we feel alone, when we feel like we just want to camp out by the water cooler of life. But you see, leaders aren't content with throwing in the towel. Leaders have this thing within them where they dig deep and they call upon it. And it's called the heart of perseverance. Leaders are somebody who looks at this and recognizes that we've got to keep moving forward. I don't have to like this, I don't have to be happy about it, but I've got to do something about it because if I don't, it wins. And I lose. Tell me that in this life, these obstacles, they serve a purpose. If you choose to see them in the way that you need to see them, these actually are an opportunity to mold you and shape you into strong men and amazing women if you let them. The message is we're not meant to stay here. Notice the pose. He keeps moving forward. Sitting is not an option. We've got to battle through the uglies in life because that's where we want to be. Right there.